Hello everyone, my name is Mario Cruz. I'm one of the marketing guys here at Ultratech and I'll also be your trainer for this session. Today I'm going to talk about the Ultra IBC Spill Palette Plus. The IBC Spill Palette Plus is not our first secondary containment palette for IBCs, but it is definitely our most popular. But before we get too far, let me address the basics. IBC stands for Intermediate Bulk Container. But these containers are also known more generically as totes or tanks. Whatever you call them, they need spill containment in order to meet the regulations. They range in size from around 250 gallons to over 400 gallons. Now the Ultra IBC Spill Palette Plus has a containment capacity of 365 gallons. So if the IBC that you are trying to contain is larger than that, you'll need to look at something else. Fortunately, Ultratech has several options. I'll put a link to those products in the comment section. The IBC Spill Palette Plus has a low profile 28 inch overall height, which is one of the lowest in the industry, making IBC handling safer and easier. It has a 52 inch by 52 inch usable deck surface and overall dimensions of 62 inches by 62 inches. It has a weight capacity of 8,500 pounds uniformly distributed. A quick note about that 8,500 pound weight capacity. Here's a very popular type of IBC. You can see from the base of it that the weight would be distributed throughout the footprint of the container. However, there are some IBCs that are on four feet like this one. This is not what I am talking about when I say uniformly distributed. With something like this, all of the weight is focused on four small surfaces. Depending on the total weight of the tank and the size of those feet, additional support may be needed. Usually a 12 inch by 12 inch steel plate under each foot works well. But call us if you have a heavier IBC on feet and we can let you know what may be needed. The weight of the IBCs is supported by four corner columns and one center column, as well as heavy duty four inch thick polyethylene grating. Now since we've got this thing broken down, let me take this opportunity to talk a little about this pallet's innards. First, you should know that there is a specific way that these columns and grates need to be installed. The units come completely assembled and ready to go, but if, for some reason, they get all discombobulated, just keep in mind that there's a specific order to how everything goes back together. Give me a call and I'll talk you through it. Secondly, I'd like to point out this feature of the pallet's construction. This is known as the Cross of Life and was an innovation introduced by Ultratech many years ago. When plastic pallets have a heavy load placed on them for long periods of time, the downward force will eventually push the sidewalls out. With enough force and or time, the sidewalls can bow enough so that the grates slide or fall. Needless to say, this would be at best messy, and at worst, disastrous. The cross of life prevents this. The molded in plastic supports pull in on the sidewalls as the weight of the IBC pushes down. Cool, huh? Now some of you may have noticed these slots in the front of the pallet and thought, I wonder what those slots are for? I sure hope Mario explains those later. Well my friend, later is now. Those slots are part of the IBC Spill Palette Plus's mold, and they are put there for an accessory item we call the bucket shelf. The bucket shelf has a five gallon capacity and coincidentally is large enough to hold a five gallon bucket. It's the perfect addition if you're dispensing from the IBC into buckets or smaller containers. But wait, there's more. If you order a bucket shelf and an IBC Spill Palette, the dudes at the factory will drill a hole through the bucket shelf and a matching hole through the sidewall of the IBC. We'll include a bulkhead fitting and once that has been installed, any spilled liquid past a certain point in the bucket shelf will flow into the spill pallet sump. So if, for some reason, the spout on the IBC is left open, everything will be contained. Now if you decide after the fact, after you've purchased and received your IBC Spill Pallet Plus, that you want a bucket shelf, I'll be happy to sell you one, but it won't have the flow through option I just discussed. You could install it yourself, it's pretty easy. Let's put it this way, I could do it, and I'm a marketing guy. The IBC Spill Palette Plus 
like a lot of our pallets, is available with or without a drain. This 3 quarter inch drain plug allows spills to be easily removed. I speak more about drains in the spill pallet video, so if you want to know more, I'll leave a link in the comments section. Like many of our spill containment pallets, the Ultra IBC Spill Pallet Plus is all polyethylene, which is beneficial in that it won't rust or corrode, and has excellent chemical resistance. The IBC Spill Pallet Plus has forklift pockets in the front and back and can be moved with the forklift or pallet jack. Now if you're watching this and you're saying, this is all fine and good Mario, but I need outdoor storage for my IBC. Well, it just so happens that we've got one of those too. It's called the Ultra IBC Hardtop, and it uses the IBC Spill Pallet Plus as its base. I'll leave a link in the comments section so you can check that out too. Finally, I would like to mention that this product, along with many of our other products, is covered by our five-year warranty, the industry's best warranty. For more details on this warranty, please visit the support section of our website. Well, I hope this session proved to be valuable to you and that you now better understand the Ultra IBC Spill Pallet Plus. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at 904-288-8195 or via our website at www.spillcontainment.com. Thank you for your time and be sure to check out our other training videos.